Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at setting up the SmartThings Community Installer, which is essentially a third-party app store for the SmartThings Hub. It makes installing any smart app in the market a two-tap process by installing all the necessary device handlers and smart apps automatically. And before we get started, be sure to look in the description below for any links regarding this installation. So let's get right into it. So right now, I'm already at my SmartThings Groovy IDE. I'm going to log in. You're going to want to choose whatever account that you currently use for your smart things. And once you add in your credentials, you'll be presented with this screen here, which you're probably already accustomed to. But if you're not, uh, let's go through step by step. The first, first things first, we're going to go to my locations and then you're going to select your location. Once you've selected your location, you're going to go over to your device handlers. And now you're actually going to add the developers repo in here. You're going to go over to settings. Then you're just going to hit this add new repository button. You'll actually be using the Tenesto 7 one that I already have pre-populated up here. And his, and the name is going to be st community installer and the branch is going to be the master and then hit save. So the next step here is to go over to the my smart apps and actually install the, the marketplace. So we click on that. So here it says, you don't have any apps yet. Add one now. You're not actually going to click over here. You're going to go over to the top right here and you're going to click this update from repo. And then you, you're going to choose the SmartThings community installer. And then you're going to check the very first one off the SmartThings community installer Groovy. You're going to want to hit execute and update. And now you see it's been added here. So the next step to get this to work is you're going to go over here to this little pen mark right here. And you're going to scroll down to OAuth and just click on it. Then you'll click on enable OAuth in Smart App. And if you don't do this, um, unfortunately the app isn't going to work. So you'll want to make sure you would do this. Scroll down and then hit update. Over here, you see that it does say updated smart app, and then it gives you an ID and a secret. You don't actually need to note any of that down, so you could just forget about it. But the next step to actually get this published out is to go over here to the right-hand side where it does say code, and you're gonna hit save, and then you're gonna click on the publish for me button. And now we have smart app published successfully. In the next part of my video, I'm going to flip over to my smartphone, launch a SmartThings Classic app, and walk you through installing a Marketplace app. So here we are now in the SmartThings Classic app, and we'll click on the Automation tab at the very bottom. Then click on the Smart Apps tab at the top. And from here, we'll click Add a Smart App. Scroll down to the very bottom, hit My Apps. And here you're going to see the smart things community installer. Just click on that. And then where it says IDE login type, just set that to your preferred login. Mine will be Samsung and then just hit save. And now it will drop down into your main screen here. Click on the smart things community installer again. And then just go down to where it says installer home. Tap here to load the installer web app. When you click on that, you'll sign in once again with your Samsung account or your SmartThings account. And here we are now in the community installer app. And here you'll be presented with a list of apps, smart apps that you can install. Uh, from the get go, we see Alexa Helper, Ask Alexa, Echo Speaks, Echo Beast Suite Manager. And for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna scroll down to the MyQ Lite app because it's one of my favorite apps to use. Um, here you'll see obviously the title and the icon, SmartThings integration with MyQ, Chamberlain LiftMaster, the views that it has received, the author, the rating, and the installs. And to initiate the install, just click on the actual tile. And here it'll give you the project link, documentation, the GitHub details. Here is the actual smart app name. It's going to be called the MyQ Lite, the version and whether or not it's installed. 
and you'll find under the IDE options, the steps that it's gonna go through to make this application available. And just below, you'll see the devices that is gonna create. Um, obviously, you'll need to put the check mark there. In my case here, it's already selected the two default options for me, which is the MyQ garage door opener and the MyQ garage door opener, no sensor. So let's just click on the install button and see how it goes. Here we go, adding, it's going through the entire process. If you scroll down a bit here, you'll see it's gone through all the different items. So here we'll see the ID authentication, uh, SmartThings authentication. Under GitHub integration, we see uh, that it has added the SmartThings repo. The smart apps have been installed and the OAuth has been enabled. And as well as the two devices here of the garage door opener and the garage door opener no sensor. And this is where I'm gonna end the video off today. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below and I'll see you on the next one.